Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from downtown Los Angeles. And do not be confused by the non-bearded face that you are actually being presented with. Quarterly, well, every two to three months, I guess that's semi-close to being quarterly. Every couple months, I shave, I trim down the beard, but do not be disappointed because it grows back very, very quickly and very fast. But it's something I needed to do because this, the scruff wagon, was in full effect if you have watched the last couple weeks worth of vlogs. It was becoming very difficult to eat, especially around the mustache area region. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Onlooker. <laughs> that guy was very confused and bewildered. Probably because he thought he recognized me. And then when he looked at the non-bearded face, he thought, that cannot be Adam the Woo. Take a look at this massive building right here. This fantastic structure that is actually part of the skyline of part of the greater Los Angeles area. This is a fantastic building that some people have mistaken to actually be the exteriors of the Ghostbusters, the top of the Ghostbusters hotel, which actually was a set and it was also filmed in New York City, even though the interiors of the Ghostbusters firehouse are in downtown Los Angeles. Some people do get confused and think that the roof scenes from Ghostbusters were filmed up there, but I don't think that is actually true. You might have a different opinion on that. We are talking about movies. We are not focusing on Ghostbusters today. We are focusing on a Christmas classic because it is Christmas Eve's Eve. It is the day before Christmas Eve. And I thought I would show you guys what this building, what's the significance of it, and why we are here to document this daily vlog in front of this fantastically built architectural marvel. So let's actually cross the street. And if you guys actually want to know where I am, we are actually on the corner of Virgil Road and Wilshire, also on the corner of Westmoreland Avenue. So if you wanted to actually go on satellite view and follow along at home here on this Christmas Eve's Eve, and you can actually see this building on street view, and it's actually the Southwestern Law School. And they've actually deemed this area the Bullocks of Wilshire. And never mind the Bullocks, just like the Sex, pi sex Pistols say, because this vlog is not about punk bands or movies that have to do with ghosts and busting. This is about what happened inside those doors right over there. Did you ever see the movie Christmas Vacation? <coughs> Excuse me, with Chevy Chase? I'm getting a little choked up because Christmas Vacation is one of my favorite Christmas movies. In fact, it is probably in my top 10 and probably in your top 10 as well. Remember the scene where Chevy Chase is going shopping with Rusty. They are in a department store and Clark Griswold, Chevy Chase's character, is looking in a glass case and a woman asks if he needs any assistance. And Clark Griswold raises his head and realizes that the woman is extremely attractive and lots of sexual innuendos are slipped in to his dialogue. Well, that exact scene was filmed inside those doors right there, inside of this building, right here on the corner of Westmoreland Avenue and Wilshire. And you can see they're doing some construction all around. And there are a few things when you watch the scene that you can actually tell that this was the building. Now we cannot actually get inside because the school is closed and I have read some stuff online that even when the school is open, they do not allow filming inside there. They do not allow you to take pictures inside of there. But I want you to notice, go on YouTube and just look up the scene. Just type in your National Lampoon's, not European, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation store scene or department store scene and watch all the little things in the background when Chevy Chase is talking to the woman. One of the things that you can actually see is this window right here. And I want you to notice how this window, how the 
different style windows do not go all the way across. You can see how the windows go halfway up and then all the way up and the slats go across that way. And if you watch the actual scene, you can actually see that that is exactly how it is in the movie. So basically, right past this Christmas tree, you can see they've actually put a Christmas tree up. If you look inside past those doors, there is a Christmas tree. Now right past that Christmas tree, there used to actually be an actual department store. This used to actually be a real department store. So past the Christmas tree inside that school now was where the glass case, where the scene actually happened. And if you see where Chevy Chase is standing, if you watch that YouTube clip, you can actually see these windows in the background. See if you can use your Columbo-like research skills and find these windows in the actual shot that I was actually talking about. And look at that, look at those carvings up there. That is actually really cool. This building is super fantastic. Especially from, when you look at it from this angle, you get a little bit dizzy because that is pretty epic looking if you look at how awesome that actually is. How many stories is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten, ten stories. So basically, about probably how many feet would ten stories be? If a story is ten feet, ten times ten would be a hundred feet. So let's look inside of here. You can actually see that they've actually put some desks up and some tables where people can do their schoolwork. This is a law school, so people basically go to school here to become lawyers. And I guess things of that nature. What else do they teach at law school? I guess to be a lawyer, I don't know. I guess could you be a judge by going to law school? I guess you have to be a lawyer before you can be a judge. I guess I'm not really sure about the ins and outs of lawyerisms. But take a look at this place. This building, super fantastic. And I love that. I love that scene. It's the Christmas season. It would not be the Christmas season if any, if the stores weren't any more hooter. I mean, hotter. Then they are. I was just blousing, I mean, browsing all those lines. Chevy Chase was super hilarious back in the day. I miss old school Chevy Chase. All right, guys, so that's about it here at the Westmoreland bus stop. I also wanted to bring something up because it is the Christmas season. Some areas of Los Angeles and other major metropolis cities are better than others, and this is not so bad. But if you go a couple blocks down the road, there are people who have fallen on hard times. And when you drive through neighborhoods that are kind of like that, you kind of like, you roll your windows up, you think like, man, like, I might be in danger. But in reality, everyone is the same. It's just everyone is on a different social platform or a different economical platform. Or maybe people have fallen on hard times. And I thought about that as I drove up here just a couple blocks down the road. A lot of people like living in cardboard boxes, living in tents, and it really makes me thankful for my life, and you should be thankful too, because just the fact that you are watching this vlog, or just the fact that you are on the internet, puts you on a higher level than a lot of people. We should be all thankful the fact that we have what we have in our lives. We are blessed, and I don't know, it just really like kind of touches me when I see like the way certain people have to survive and have to live. I kind of wish that the world was not that way. Of course, we all do. I kind of wish that I could do a lot of things for a lot of people and there was no people that were destitute or hungry in the world. So just be thankful. Let's, let's end this Christmas vlog with being thankful for the way, the way our lives are. And, I, and also remember that too, when you're in an area and you think, this is a sketchy, this is a sketchy neighborhood. It really isn't a sketchy neighborhood. Well, maybe it might be, but the majority of the time, just normal people that are on a different plateau or a different level than you or I might be. I didn't mean to get sidetracked with that, but just keep that in mind on this Christmas holiday season. Christmas is only in two days. Hard to believe Christmas is in two days. Today is Christmas Eve's Eve, and I thought I would stop off here and give you guys a happy, a happy little vlog of a happy little comedy. A great Christmas movie. I did not. I did not mean to, to sadden the vlog, but I thought that it was very valid to bring up that point. Okay, let's get a moment of quietness here, and actually show the building itself. Pretty awesome. Bullets, Wilshire. Pretty epic.
I think I'm actually going to cross the road and try to give you guys a shot from the other side of the road. So let's press this arrow here, walk across the road. I love Los Angeles. I actually live down in Orange County. A lot of people think that is Los Angeles when in reality it's probably about 20 to 25 miles, 30 miles depending on where you're going, either from I live pretty close to Disneyland. So driving up here in traffic sometimes takes an hour and a half, two hours. Today it wasn't too, too bad. It took probably about an hour to get up here, but if I was going to Burbank or to Hollywood, it would take a little bit farther. But I love the fact that this many movie locations are in this area. But this many, I, is this thing working? How many times do you got to push this thing to get it going? Oh, look at this. Somebody stuck a sticker here. It says, Gundam style, stole my frame. Freestyle Marco. Someone says that Gundam style stole freestyle Marco's fame. But anyway, about Los Angeles. I love Los Angeles. I love Southern California. Just because of the, mov the movie history and the Hollywood history and the music history. Sunset Boulevard, the Sunset Strip, and things like this. Look at that. It's awesome. That building right there. Look, look at that building. That is absolutely incredible architecture. And look at those windows up there. There's two drapes. There's only two windows that actually have drapes across the windows. You gotta wonder what the importance of those two windows on the fifth floor are. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll see you guys later. Remember what I said about being thankful? Happy, merry holidays. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, both of those things. Hope you guys have a great Christmas. I will see you guys tomorrow on what will be Christmas Eve. Christmas is in two, uh, two days. I kind of have a little free time. Madame Wu is out of town. She went back to visit her family, so I'm just kind of roaming around aimlessly this week, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to just get out and have have a little me time, have a little time where I can reflect, see things like this. Not that I don't do this every day. I do a different vlog every single day. But I've just been kind of chilling. Like yesterday, I just kind of was like around the house, relaxing, watching some Christmas movies. All right. Anyway, I don't want to digress about that. I got a lot on my mind, especially with what I was mentioning earlier about down the street and whatnot. Leave some comments about Christmas vacation. What is your favorite scene in Christmas vacation? and we'll chime in and have some conversation later together. One last look here at the Christmas Vacation store from the movie Christmas Vacation. You know what's interesting too about these unedited vlogs is you never know what I'm going to say, what's going to cross in my mind, what is going to deter the vlog, if you will, what you are going to actually hear what I am actually going to think. That is the difference between this channel, the Daily Woo channel, and the main channel, the Adam the Woo channel. Take a look at that. Look at that. I'm going to get a screenshot now. Look at this. Screenshot! That's me and a fantastic structure. Very dark. I'm very dark, and that is very light because that is what is important in this vlog. The filming location of a fantastic scene. And who actually knew that this was in here. Who actually knew? Leave a comment down below if you actually learned something new today. If you learned something new today, then leave a comment down below. I wanna know if these vlogs are valuable to you because that is important to me. And so is this screenshot. Look at that. Look at this. Look. I'm gonna use this right here. I'll see you guys later. Check down below for my t-shirts at the Love you guys. Goodbye.